Hello everyone, Stevie Jacko here with my results for the UK water investigation. You're going to be shocked. I was absolutely shocked. What you're about to see is going to amaze you and shock you to the core. The flowers in the bottled water, you're not going to believe this. They came out last. They came out last. Bottled water in the UK came out last in my experiments. What's all that about? What's all that about, eh? What is it? What is that all about? Are we being conned? The bottle of water. What's that about? It should have it should have come out second. In third place came filtered. In second place, and there was quite a gap between second and third. I can tell you that now for nothing. In second place came tap water. But it was no great surprise to me that distilled water came first because after all, what is distilled water? Distilled water is rain. It's rain without the pollution. Tenacity Time, a YouTuber Tenacity Time, suggested I put beer in. So what I've done, I've bought organic cider. So let's see what happens here. So the same measure. This is organic cider. And these are the flowers that I had left over. They've been in water. They were bought exactly the same time and I just happened to have two left over anyway. So there we go. So that's day three and we're going to see how these do. Day four. There's the flowers in cider, flowers in distilled, flowers in tap, flowers in filtered, flowers in bottled and no water at all. So I feel sorry for these um, couple of lads here. Mm, I do apologise but, you know, it's for the... It's to save mankind, this is. Anyway, that's the bottled, which seems to be doing okay. The filtered, they're doing very well. Um, the tap's not doing that good. Not so great. But the distilled is doing the best. And there's the cider. Which, that's, you know, it's getting along. It's getting along, it's quite jolly. Day six. Cider, flowers, these uh, lads are doing quite well. Yeah, still jolly. Uh, distilled, going very well. On day six, can't believe it. That's the tap. Filtered. Bottled. And, yes, come on lads, chin up. Chin up, lads. Come on, they're still hanging on here. Even though they haven't had a drink for six days. I bet you're gasping, aren't you, lads? Cool. Day eight. Now, these two lads, I stopped them last night from having a fight. They got quite, quite emotional. And uh, one of them tried it on with that one. Ugh. Anyway, it's day eight. There's the cider. Not doing too bad. Very jolly and happy. They look quite happy. I would too be as well. Uh, they're still doing okay. It could be doing better though, and the tap water, surprisingly, this is Kent tap water. Now that surprised, surprised me that as, because I thought that would be on its way out, but it's not. Day 8, it's still going strong. Filtered, look at the state of this. Now this is filtered tap water, so that is that water, but filtered. It's a new filter, so what happened there? Look, it's at it. It's on its way out, on its last legs. I mean, it's almost as bad as the one without any water. Hmm, and the bottled, well, what happened there? Look, it's going. It's just going. That's the bottled water. Bottled water. And it's going. It's going on day eight. So, are we being conned? Are we being conned? That's what I'm asking myself. Are we being conned, the British public? Are we being conned into drinking bottled water when tap water seems to be better? Hmm, and even filtered water. Are we being conned again? Are we buying filters? You know, these results suggest that tap water is better than filtered, better than bottled. It's not better than distilled because still is still going strong. But it's almost as if the cider's just as good as the distilled and tap. Hmm, very interesting results. This is the distilled. And so that's the distilled. On day nine. That's the tap. And as you can see, that, that is the tap distilled. So it's, the distilled has got the edge. 
Distilled. Tap. It's withering, it's starting to wither on day nine. Distilled on day nine. But surprisingly enough, the organic cider is still hanging in there. But the filtered is disastrous. Look at the state of that. Look. It's dripping right down. That's the filtered water, which was from the tap, but filtered from one of those filters, which is this filter here, which is one of these. And it was put in just a couple of days ago. But look at the bottled, look at the bottled. This is bottled water from the UK. Look at the state of it. Look at the state of that. And of course, no water at all, but I did have to give it some water. Know what I mean? Know what I mean? Look, poor lads. They're suffering now. I don't like to see flowers suffer like that. But that's the bottle. I cannot believe that is the state of the bottle water after nine days. I thought that would have been doing better than the tap. Just goes to show you that what a con the bottled water is in the UK. Filtered water in the UK, day nine, that's been in water for nine days. And for the same period, that's the tap water in water for nine days. And this is the distilled, which is outshining all of them, really. Because look at that bud there, look, perfect. Perfectly opened, it's not deformed. The yellow one's uh, kind of okay, but, and you, you know, it's not wilting. Um, that one's starting to wilt, that's the tap, starting to wilt. And that is definitely starting to wilt. So the clear winner is the distilled water. Water, we can't do without it. And here's a prime example, the Mediterranean. It's crystal clear out there, which is what our water should be when we're drinking it, crystal clear. And the choices we have is far from crystal clear, I can tell you that. Because in my investigation and experiments of the UK water supply and bottled water, distilled water, tap water and filtered, I can tell you this now, as expected, distilled came out on top. So there you go. Unbelievable. Look at this beautiful, beautiful scene. I am off for a cup of tea. This is Stevie Jacko signing out because I'm off for a nice cup of tea and I'm going to go right over there. Get in my little boat and I'm going to sail right over there and have a nice cup of tea. Ooh, lovely. You can't beat a nice cup of tea. Ten off for now. Ten off. I'll get back to you in another week's time when one of them will be left standing. You can't beat a nice cup of tea. One euro thirty. What's that in English? Anyway, Stevie Jacko signing out and I'll see you next time. Don't forget, mum's a word. Whatever that means. But Stevie Jacko from the Mediterranean saying ten half an hour. Ten half. Oh, by the way, does anyone fancy a date? <laughs> oh, look at this, look at this. Free food, free food. Free food. Look at this, fantastic. Look at that. That is, mmm.